Julie. Thanks for joining this Plan With Me video today. I'm going to be working on my Currently page for the month of April and I'm going to be using some printable stickers from Caitlin Plans. I wanted to do a rainy day spread for April and if I'd had any Bambi stickers I probably would have done something along the lines of drip drip drop little April showers but instead I found some gorgeous rain cloud stickers in Caitlin's shop on Etsy and so I'm going to use those. It's not the first time I've used Caitlin's stickers. You may have seen the other lovely spreads I've done using her printables. I don't have a cutting machine and I'm not much of a computer expert. So I just use the Canon photo app and print two to a page. And then I put the paper in again and print them out again, which is why they're upside down. What I did notice this time is that I changed the paper size to A4, which is the traditional size for UK and I've just lost the edge of this quote here. So I changed it to letter size, which is the US paper size, printed it out again, and it's come out a little bit smaller with everything in the box. So just a tip if you are a UK planner to remember not to set your printer to A4, but to keep it at letter size. Of course, I could have printed out any size. That's the good thing about printables, but I tend to prefer to print the four to a page and have them on the smaller size but I can print them out any size that I like. I don't have a lot of idea what I'm doing for this page so I'm just going to get on with it. I'm using this grid washi. It's from Amazon and I thought I would just put some at the top and the bottom of the page. and probably put the word April on top of it. I've got some alphabet stickers that I've found that match the colours of Caitlin's stickers. I did think about using the script washi because I like that, but I haven't actually used this washi before. So I'm trying to use everything I have and give everything a go. So I thought I would go with this one today. As I don't have a cutting machine, I do need to cut the stickers out by hand. But of course, the good thing about printables as well is that you can print them out as many times as you like. So these stickers may well make another appearance in either my classic or skinny classic planner. It took me about five minutes to cut everything out from that one sheet. I'm never quite sure whether to fussy cut around the images or just cut around them loosely. I think because I'm a card maker, I usually fussy cut them, which means cutting very closely around the edge. But with this one, the umbrella, because I will want the raindrops, I'm certainly not going to cut those out individually. So I've left that all together. I think we'll probably have the umbrella at the bottom. And I had to go with when life gives you rain clouds, play in the puddles because the other quote was rainy days are my fave and they're definitely not my fave. We've been having quite a lot of rainy days here in the UK lately. I keep waiting for spring to arrive. I haven't yet unpacked my spring summer clothes. So I'm still wearing jumpers, cardigans. I'm just adding a few boxes now. I just use the Currently prompts for my Currently page, nothing else. It's a memory page for me just to look back on, see what happened that month. And I usually make a matching task page. In case you were looking out for the video of my March task page, that one never materialised. I just didn't get a chance to film it as there was quite a lot going on with the spring release and other videos that I had to do, so I left that one. I'm not sure whether it was a good idea to stick all the boxes first to, and add the decoration last, but we will work around it. And I do find that these stickers that I made myself can be lifted from the page if I need to. So now I'm just going to play around with where I might lay the clouds. So I'll probably speed this bit up because there'll be lots of moving around. I'm very indecisive. I'm still having issues with this corner. I prefer the cloud here 
but it's directly above the boots. Um, I tried putting the boots in various places, but it seemed like they belonged at the bottom. It doesn't seem to make sense to have them anywhere else. So I have tried moving the cloud there, and I think that's probably where I'm going to end up putting it. I will, of course, add some more raindrops. I'll need to cut those out of the other sheets. I'm a little bit concerned about this box that hasn't got anything decorating it, but we'll see if we can do anything about that later. So now I need to stick the stickers on. I'm already feeling quite inspired about making my matching tiles page, but I can't quite decide which direction to go in. I usually make little boxes for me to write my tasks for the month and they're usually shaped like something. So I was thinking I could do rain clouds and write my to-dos in there. But I also thought I could do raindrops or even some upside down umbrellas. So I don't know which direction I'm going to go in. I just managed to rip this sticker as I was taking the backing off. I'm really not that good at taking the backing off. I should try and get the paper that has the slits in. I think that would be easier. So I think I will do that next time when I run out of the lot that I've got currently. That's what I'll do. I have thought about getting a cutting machine. They're very popular. And I did used to have something called a craft robo, which, and I may be wrong about this, I do think might have been the precursor to the silhouette. But all I ever used that for was cutting out alphabet letters, which I mainly used for school for when I was doing displays for the children. And I never got any further than that. It did come with some prearranged shapes. I'm not sure if I'm sticking these in the right place. <laughs> I've forgotten where they were, but I think that's about right. Let's add in a few more raindrops. I'm thinking I should do another spread with these where the raindrops bring the flowers. And combine the stickers with some florals. So I'm thinking about just bringing in another cloud. I've cut that one out from the other sheet and just turned it upside down. It may be a bit too much but I don't want to bring in stickers from another sticker book so I think that's the way to go. It does make life a lot easier when you just stick to one sticker book or one sticker sheet and with stickers as pretty as this, that's all you need. Just need to do the title now. I've got all my Happy Planner alphabet sheets in this Make Your Own Sticker Book pack from Happy Planner. And I found inside that we have got a blue alphabet. Let's see if I can find it here. Matches really well, perfectly in fact, and it's from the Pastel Tropics sticker book. In case you're wondering how I knew it was from Pastel Tropics, I do write the title of the book on the back. So I'm just using this checklist stencil as a ruler to decide where I want to put the title. I think probably the middle. The reason I write the sticker book title on the back of the sheet is a couple of reasons. One, in case I run out and I want to find out where I got it from. And secondly, if I'm using that sticker book, say Pastel Tropics, and I want to find the letters that match, then I know where to find them. don't think I could have made a better alphabet than that. Now I just need to find the words. I made pages of my own currently prompt so that I've got plenty to choose from and in lots of different fonts. So I'll find one that I like. Let's have enjoying in this long box here. Stick it at the top. This 
system two can go in this very small box here. We have planning here. And I always like to keep a record of current events. So I have an in the news section. Although I would think it was my last video I was saying I ought to have a good news section and perhaps only write good things that have happened because there always seems to be far too much bad news around. And I think we're done. That's a really simple page, but a beautiful page. Really happy with it. Just need to punch that hole there. I use the Craftalia seven hole punch. You've probably seen me do this before, but I take the back off so that I can punch the holes. So I actually only need one hole. So I just pop it in, line up one, and then you can see I've got the missing hole. I should be back soon with my task page, unless other things get in the way. So if you're interested, Remember that if you're subscribed and click the notification bell, you should know as soon as any videos of mine go live. I just need to straighten up that planning. I've noticed it's crooked. And I am a little bit of a perfectionist in my planning and in everything. So I can't let it go. I think that's a bit better. Hope you have a great April with less of the rain and more of the sun. Thanks for watching. Happy planning, take care and see you soon.